Hello, my friend. Welcome to my channel. Today, I got ILNP Sunkiss requested by Lori. Here is the beautiful ILNP Sunkissed. Insane, hollow, scattered hollow. Yes, yummy. So, I've already got my base cut on and it's dry. And I'm going to go in with my first kiss. First kiss. First coat of Sunkissed. Good gravy. Off to a rocky start. And we're going to do our second coat real quick. I do believe this one ended up being a three coater for me. I didn't want to get it too thick and globby on the nail, so I did kind of thinner coats. So pretty though. Mm. And there's that third coat. Now, if you wanted to do less coats of this, you could put like an undie under it, you know, something similar in the same shade. And just do one coat as a topper. Gorgeous. I'm going to use the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat to get this one to dry down so we can do some stamping. Look how pretty that is with the top coat on it. Yes. It's so ugh, squishy. I really, really like this one. I can see this one being a great summertime color too. Not a neon, but very, you know, eye-catching. Very nice. Hi, Woody. How you doing? So there we go. Now that it's dry, I'm going to use You Are Beautiful, number 17. I haven't used these in a while, so I broke them out. I'll be stamping with Revlon Tempting, not a stamping polish, and Braves Diva stamping polish called On the Black. I'll be using my monocle stamper and my Beauty Big Bang scraper. Now this is one of my favorite images on all of my plates. This woven ribbon looking image is just, it's just a favorite. It's been, like I said, it's been a while since I played with these, so, you know. I'm going to do some double stamping on it. I'm stamping in black first and then gold next, right over the top. There we go, and that is my accent nail. Gives it kind of a funky look, but I like it. And then I'm going to use these flowers on the other nails. I just And I'm going to do it the same way. I'm going to do the black stamping first and then the gold. And I'm just going to put these like little flowers kind of in different ways on, on the nails. Just different directions. Um, kind of moving the uh, image around so that it's not... I wasn't trying to center it or anything. So... I just kind of wanted to play with it because you guys know this is what I do. I play with it. <laughs> there we go. I'm trying to figure out how to get that stamper. There we go. That's the right way. There you go. Tap, tap, tap. So there are the first two and we're going to go in with the next one. Like I said, I just wanted to, you know, play with this and, you know, see how it turn out. Now, I can tell you that I really did like it. Maybe not one of my favorites, right home kind of manicures, but I did like it. And I am using that one image, and I used part of it on one nail, and I just took it over to the other nail and plopped it on. Um, kind of some of that saving, you know, saving polish, doing my part. <laughs> you know, line it up. And there's the first one, and then plop over here to the second nail. And ta-dang, 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 there it is. I like it when you can do that. I'm going to be topping this with some of the Born Pretty Smudge Free Top Coat today. This keeps the um, stamping polish from smearing by sealing it in, but I love my top coat. Here it is, Posh. And I'm going to top this manicure off with some Posh, seal it in, get it to dry down, and look at that. Ah! Well, anywho, but I hope you did enjoy this manicure. It might not be everybody's taste, but that's okay. It's just a manicure. It comes off in a day or two anyway, right? So, I would love to hear what you think about it. Leave me a comment down below telling me your thoughts. And I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.